Hi everyone. Welcome. Y'all got me coming on here bare face. <laughs> Amy would have never done that in the past, but here we are. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Aileen. If you're watching the replay and you're new here, let me make sure my laptop is muted so we don't hear an echo. Okay. So you guys picked my makeup on Instagram and I was shocked with some of them, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Hey, Betsy. So first you guys picked the Double Tensure Instant and Long Term Sisley Primer. Is it a primer? It doesn't say primer, but from watching Vicky J and Mo, I say it's a primer. We're going to put the boxes back there because I don't, I keep them in boxes until I film with them. Is that weird? Ooh, I don't know how much we need of this. Ooh, that feels nice. And this is new to me. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Ashley. Hi, it's not a phase. Oh, I'm putting on the Sisley primer. It feels so good. Hi, Locke. Oh, this does feel good. I had to throw my hair in a ponytail. I had to work late. Then I had to cook dinner. Yeah, fun times. Hi, Rupi. Thanks for joining us. So you guys, I know the concealers I put on the Instagram were all ones you've seen on my channel. And then I was like, oh my God. I totally forgot that I had two new concealers. So the concealer that one was the Dior. But hi LBD Beauty. LBD Beauty, you guys, has a channel. So if you haven't checked her out, Ru uh, Betsy, you would love her channel. I'm just saying she's right up your alley. <laughs> so I do have two new concealers that I totally forgot to include in that. So if you guys still want Dior, we can still do Dior. But if not, I have the new Sisley and I have the Tom Ford Emotion Proof. So let me know. We're going to do com uh, foundation first or probably brows because I like brows first. While you guys decide I have something on my eye. Like a little fuzzy or something. While well, you guys decide if you want the, the Sisley or the Tom Ford. Oh, no problem. Let's see. We're going to do brows. So, you guys. On the brow products you guys picked was the Chantecaille Brow Gel and the Chantecaille Brow Pencil. I will say I have been enjoying the brow gel. I'm not sure on the brow pencil yet. Hi, Tanya's beauty. Hi, Liz. Most of you ladies in the chat have a channel, if not all. So I encourage you guys to check each other out. So the Chantecaille brow gel is a lot like the Tom Ford brow gel but it it's not as strong as far as like if you move the hairs one way they're going to stay that way but it's just as pigmented and <laughs> lock we were just in her live together it's not as it, it is as pigmented and it doesn't leave like the streaks on your skin that a brow a typical Hi, Kendra, that a typical brow gel would have. Um, it's a, Like I said, it's a lot like the Tom Ford. But. So I like the brow pencil for the bottom of the brow. 
but I'm not sure, like filling in your actual brow, but the areas where you have to, hold on, there we go, where you have to like fill in, because there really isn't any, any hair, that's where I'm like, mm, I'm not quite sure. Yes, Tanya, it is the, so the subscribers picked my makeup and they picked the V blush and Cherub. And in my last live, yeah, the Chanel live, because I didn't have the, um, a Chanel highlighter. I used the V highlighter, which is also the one they chose today in Bijou, B-I-J-O-U. So we'll be using those today. And then I have a dedicated Vive video coming next week, sometime while I'm out of town, um, because this is the only blush that I didn't use in that video. So I'm glad I'm using it today. Hi, Simply You Makeup. So I will show you the, the pencil. The brow pencil has the spoolie. And this one's the Chantecaille in the shake, shade Oak Brown. And it has the same shape as the Tom Ford brow sculpting pencil. We are in every live. <laughs> yes, as soon as I got that um, LBD's beauty's uh, notification, I was on. I was still working though, but I was on. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Like, I just feel like in the areas where you add, it kind of gives a little waxy look. It definitely doesn't give hair like strokes. You know what I mean? So that, and then this is my bad brow. This is my, <laughs> This is my accident with the gr with the grill many years ago brow. And when that thing got toasted off, it never grew back right. For oily lids, Ronnie G, honestly, my favorite is the Makeup by Mario prep and set. That's my favorite. Um... And then this is my second, the Urban Decay. And this is the original, the eyeshadow primer potion. That they do have them tinted. So if you have like any pigmentation on your lids, you could get them in different shades. But I'm oily everywhere. And those are the two that work the best for me. Oh, look at Ashley. Look at Ashley with her tools. So yeah, th this just, in the areas where you have to add additional coverage and you don't have hair is where I'm like, I don't know how much I like it, but you know, I'm surprised. Um, what's her name? I call her Maria, but what's her, her beauty name? Well, Maria's her name. <laughs> her Night Star Beauty. I'm surprised she isn't here because uh, Dior won. The Dior Denim Quint won by one vote. It was close. And that one vote was Ashley Willard, who couldn't press the vote options. So she had to DM me. <laughs> The Mario prep and set is really good. So I'm a medium and I bought it in medium, but honestly, here I'll show you. I think I want it in light. So, and I don't even, I don't even touch this shade, never have. <laughs> this is the only shade I use. So I think if I got it in light, I would get use out of the whole palette. Oh, it's fine, Conley. So how has your your Friday Eve been? Mine has been wonderful just because I have one more day of work 
before I'm out of town for nine days. So I don't know if you guys can see this right here. Like it looks like plastery and kind of ugly. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I don't like. Like, it looks like you slipped up with a Sharpie there. Today has been pretty okay. Pretty okay is better than bad. Yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of this. Nice and chill. I like the sound of that. I wanted nice and chill. It didn't quite work out that way. Well, it worked out chill because it was cold this morning. Hi, Boomex Beauty Beat. Yeah, it, it was cold this morning. I like to sleep cold. So I put the AC about 70 because it's still a fairly new AC. So, you know, when they're new, you put it at 70, it feels like 65. And when I woke up, I was like, why isn't the AC on? Then I lifted that cover up and I was like, oof, I know why. Because <laughs> it's cold in here. It's like, man, how cold is it outside? I went to the thermostat, immediately put the heater in. The, it was 64 degrees in the house. I was like, oh, yeah, it's kind of cold. And then it was 39 degrees outside or 30-something. 30, 30 Less than 39. 36, I want to say. It was 39 by the time I left. And that's cold when you've been having weeks of, um, you had snow this morning. Jeez. Like, it's spring. Tell the snow to go away. My honey's best friend is a firefighter in Detroit. And I keep telling him, I want to go visit you in the winter. And he's like, girl, are you crazy? <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, jean -Bia. Yeah, so something about this whole situation with this brow pencil. I'm not about this life. But it's okay. We're going to fix it. We're going to figure it out. Because where there's a will, there's a way, honey. We are going to sculpt them. And I'm going to get, I'm going to use the small spoolie from the NYX brow pencil. And so I can really get in there and try to see on this side, it looks better, but I don't, I have hair, a good amount of hair on that side. He's fine. I was surprised that you guys picked the spot concealer to be Pat McGrath. But at the same, I was and I wasn't. I was like, I wonder if they picked that because it was in my yearly not favorite section. <laughs> but I don't like it for underneath the eyes just because I don't have the right shade. Not because it's a, wrong, the bad, a bad formula. But I do like it to spot conceal. But this is the, my holy grail, my Boing traditional shade two from Benefit. We're going to I think on camera they look decent up close and personal. Oh, LBD, this is my favorite, favorite, but it has to be the one in the pot. Like I already have my backup <laughs> and usually I show my backup 
on videos because like she's struggling like she's holding on she's holding on to dear life but we like her so we're gonna use every inch of her yeah but it looks decent on camera but up close and personal uh-uh I know we social distancing, but I still don't want you to think my brows look crazy if you pass me by. Luckily, I got that in a 30% off sale because then I would have been big mad. So that's what we're going to get with the brows. Made it look a little better. Oh, the liquid one. I have never tried the liquid one. Tigers finally won a game. The Braves went into overtime and lost. But it's okay. It's just game one. Chopping veggies. <laughs> so you guys chose the <clears throat> shade and Tom Ford shade and illuminate. And this is new to me as well. I picked it up at the CCO. And this one is in the shade. Ooh, child, I told y'all I don't wear my glasses to the live. 5.6 Ivory Beige. So we're going to see. I'm going to pump her in my hand just to see the... Oh, I think she might be dark. Is she dark? Maybe not. She might be good. Boomix. Oh, I didn't even spot conceal. What are, what are we doing? Look, I was about to go in. Well, I am Cuban, Puerto Rican from Miami. Born and raised, and I live in Atlanta. Miss Boomex. I'm not sure everybody else in the chat, you can let her know where you're from. Y'all would have caught me six months ago. I would have never came on camera without spot concealing. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I posted what my, uh, the first picture is what my skin looked like four weeks ago. And then the third week is four weeks ago. And then two weeks prior to that. And then if you scooch over, those pictures are now like my skin has been doing wonders. New York. See, and this is not even like my skin shade now. And guess what? When I get back from vacation, this concealer shade is going to be too dark, too, too light. Because <laughs> I'm going to come back bronze for the gods. Where in Florida are you, Simply You Makeup? Dallas, Texas. I know um, Betsy's in Nederland. Nederland, Texas. She's cooking dinner, so she's not responding. That would be why. Oh, LBD, I went through it, girl. My skin, I went all the way through it. I quickly realized I cannot use anything with vitamin D. I mean, vitamin C, honey. I'm thinking about vitamin D. Um, I can't use anything with vitamin C. <clears throat> it breaks me out really bad, clogs my pores. And then I got to work on my skincare to unclog my pores. Oh, Betsy, I was just telling them that you're from Nederland, Texas, because we were talking about where everybody's from. So I've been using Chantecai, um, just specific products. And if you guys are interested, now that I have my entire day and night skincare routine down packed, I can do that for you guys when I get back. Um, we could do a live 
when I get back and talk about um, my day and my night and how I rotate it, the products. Um, the only other product that I use is Elemis. Elemis has a Coral Springs. Nice. I grew up in Perrine Color Ridge area in Miami. Um, that's a good shade match. But the Elemis has a, and I'm excessively oily. <laughs> like, I'm really oily, you guys. So if you're new to my channel. Um, the Elemis has a pillow mask. Pillow sleeping mask is what it's called. Or pillow facial mask, something like that. And that is amazing for hydration. And if I put, if I really, really, really hydrate my skin, I realize that I can trick my skin for a while thinking it already produced the oils. So the oils don't produce as fast. Uh -huh. Honey. You talk about expensive skincare, Chantikai is expensive. But I'm at the point that it's working. It's the only thing that has been able to work for me in eight or nine months that I've tried. So I don't I don't care. I'll pay the price. I'll pay every penny and some. Like, because I could not keep going with the way my skin was. I haven't tried this resurfacing mask. Hi, Marlo. Hi, Monique. So, yeah. I mean, the, what I was, I was actually talking to Ashley Willard today about the, um, I'm pumping like little, little at a time, about the cleanser. So, the cleanser is like $64 or something. But you need so, so little of it that you'll it could last you forever like it's ridiculous less than a pea size like half of a pea size and it's a foaming cleanser foams up your entire face and gives you the deepest clean cleanse and you feel the clean but it doesn't like dry your skin or give you that tight feeling or i stripped it of everything it just feels so good i like this foundation y'all I really like the finish. It's a little luminous on the forehead. I know y'all see it. Look, you see the whole ring light on my forehead. <laughs> she loves shiny. The cleansers are great. I know there's a lot of new folks here. I appreciate you guys. My name is Aileen. Aileen, Aileen, with the A. What do you guys think? I like this foundation. Yeah, LVD, I'm at the point where she is shiny. Where I used to, like, do super high coverage. And, like, I'm okay if this peeks through. Like, <laughs> that's how happy I am. Honey, that is my man. If you get a chance, <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Well, I'll tell you the story. We're here. So in 2004, he did the musicology tour in my, um, all over the world. And he came to Fort Lauderdale. And he did a show there. I'm really liking this foundation. But we're going to set her after we do our concealer. Um, he did a show, show there. And when we were leaving the, the concert, um, Aileen, A-I-L-E-E-N. Yes, Aileen. <laughs> so when we were leaving the concert, my dad bought me a shirt. And on the shirt, it had all the cities he would be performing that were already scheduled. I went to my job the next day. So did you guys decide, Sisley or Tom Ford concealer or the one you guys voted on, the Dior? 
So I went online. I bought a ticket to every show. I rented a convertible. And I went to my job the next day and I said, I hope I have my job when I get back. Sisley. And he said, Sisley, Dior, come on, I need more so we can vote. <laughs> and um, he said, yeah, you'll have your job. Why? Where are you going? Chasing Prince's tour bus and it's leaving in an hour. Bye. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> and I chased that tour bus <laughs> everywhere. And... Ooh, it's Ty. I chased that tour bus up and down the entire East Coast. I finally met him in Memphis, though. I'm just saying. Oh, honey, 1984. I was born in 83. I didn't get to do that. <laughs> but... <laughs> Okay, Tom Ford. Tom Ford is the winner. So, yes. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, Tom Ford it is. I love me some prints. Honey. And I went to his last concert here in Atlanta. <sighs> And that's all I'll say. Because to me, he's like my Elvis. Like, he's still alive. I'm just saying. Just, just in case you didn't know. Okay? Now you know. That's a little gloopy there. Let me take some of that off. He didn't die, girl. He didn't die. He didn't. Talk about sad. My job didn't let me. <laughs> I live in Atlanta. So I live um in the outskirts, like by Stone Mountain, not too far. It's a little neighborhood called Snellville out here. I'm on in the sticks. But yeah. I remember after the last concert, standing in the outside, I remember being shocked that he took a break during the performance. Like, I was shook. I was like, he took a break. And then, oh, girl, you went cop? Shut your mouth. Let me go net. What? <laughs> Let me pop up over there and show up, pop up in one of your lives. <laughs> like, who just walked through the door? Hey, Merge Beauty. <laughs> So, um, I, immediately after the concert, I, I ran out because, you know, after you chase him for weeks, you know, his routine. So I knew that he'd be quick to get out of there. And when I went to the back and I saw the ambulance waiting for him there, I was like, this can't be real. Because mind you, he had already postponed. I don't know why I just right, dragged that on my lid. I'll never put concealer on my lids. But it looked a little crusty. Um, I like that. I don't think the coverage is as high as I wanted it to be. Like especially right here. Well, my eyes are a little poofy here for some reason. But I probably slept on it. Because that happens. But like sleep with your face squish oh, okay I used to live in Loganville hey Pauline yes Pauline's telling me to go to Florida hi Kelly and you telling her to come back here is it buildable we about to see I think we'll tell more on this side if it's buildable And I'm going to go in with the, this is like, I, I don't like to go in too thick if I'm going to build. So I like scraped most of it off of on the tip. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, it's buildable. That looks nice. 
and it's not buildable thick. It's not looking crusty. It's looking nice. Let me do the same over here. See, like I'm just scraping it and then putting whatever's on the dofa and then dabbing it in with my finger. Because I did do it with a sponge and the sponge usually shears out more than than your finger or a brush. So definitely if you want, it'll it'll give you the coverage you need. I think if I would have gone with my finger the first time, it would have been fine. Yeah, it looks better. But I got to set these under eyes immediately. Immediately. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. But yeah, this is the back under eye setting powder. I was going to stock up and I didn't. Oh, I was saying. So I saw the ambulance and immediately I, I thought bad things. And when he came out, he recognized me, said hi, and that's it. Like immediately went in the ambulance. Yeah, that was the last I saw my boo. I'm so sad that this that Becca's going out of business. Just I finally found something that I was like, ooh, I really like this under eye setting powder. And I just dab a little on my finger and just go in. I bought these at the CCO. Both of them. And the foundation is usually $150. I paid $60. The concealer, honey. Don't y'all judge me. The concealer was. Where's the concealer? What shade is she? The concealer is usually 50, oh, 54. And I paid $21.60 at the CCO. I did, I did. <laughs> you laughing at my big old receipt? <laughs> Is that a CVS receipt? No, that, I mean, that was a CCO receipt. <laughs> there was no CVS bug stuck to that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably it's a scroll. <laughs> like one member, like the ones in the Rolodex or like the fax paper. Yeah, they should have just given me the whole roll. But I really like the setting powder. So we're going to try. I use that on my under eye. But for the face, because, you know, a girl needs a little half of a tree. <laughs> like, y'all are trying my life. Y'all enjoyed the haul, though, didn't you? <laughs> You're not buying concealer this year. I didn't tell myself I wasn't buying nothing. Like, I'm, no, no. We're not doing this. So it comes with a little poof, but I'm going to go with my big La Mer. So this is the, sh it's not a translucent shade, translucent shade. I bought this in the shade medium, which is 32. TJ Maxx and the CCO. I say go to the CCO. Mm-hmm. Honey, that receipt. So we're going to try this with the La Mer brush. We're going to do the forehead since that's where y'all can see the most shine. I'm blinding y'all with my forehead. So I'm not going too deep because I don't want to mattify it. Like, see, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Like, I don't want to, because it does have a tint to it. I don't want to cake up my makeup either. Ooh. 
you need to use up what you have, honey. I, I'll never accomplish that. Like, I had this problem before I started YouTube, what, seven months ago? Like, Marlo, I went to the CCO in Dawsonville, and I'm planning to go to the one up in Cobb. Is it Cobb? I think that's Cobb. The Woodstock one. And then I want to go to the one in McDonough. So the powder is nice. Like you can see it mattified, but it still left a little luminosity, which I don't mind at all. But Oh, that's Cherokee County. Okay. I want to go there. That's the next one I'm going to hit up after vacay. Oh, Liz, I know you do. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We're going to take her out the box because we used her. What are we doing? We used her. I don't take them out the boxes, so I use them if you came in later to the live. Like that, I know I have to record with it. So, next, we'll do, we're going to do go ahead and do our eyeballs. And y'all picked this chance of pen, so I'm going to put her away because she just upset me. Y'all picked the Dior Denim Quint. Wait, I didn't even tell y'all because y'all know I'm about to go on vacation. What are we doing? Living our best life. Yes, we are. That was a purpose. I did that on purpose. Which brush? The La Mer brush? Hi, Ashley. Yes, Marlo, I will definitely tell you when I get back. Not too long after when I get back. <laughs> but the brush is 75. I want to say the brush was 75. And then the, the brush for the car <laughs> and the powder, I think is 95. I think I want to try the Sisley loose powder, but I bought, I think the, they were both a gift. I think they were both a gift to, for me last year for birthday. I love this big brush and it's so soft. Me, me and Willard, we were talking about um, brushes today. Ashley, do you have this brush? And you know what? The CCO in Dawsonville has La Mer. So, Pauline, call the CCO in Dawsonville. Hit me up on Instagram. Send me a DM. Say, send me the number. I already have it saved because I just sent it to somebody else. Did I, did I leave it written down? I know I wrote it on a blue paper, but I don't know where the blue paper is. Call the CCO in Dawsonville. Yes, Ashley, this brush is amazing. So if you need anything from La Mer, call the CCO and see if they have it first. And usually if you spend a certain amount, like you get stuff free. Oh, Ashley, I haven't tried the foundation, but they do have it at the CCO. So let me show y'all this palette that y'all picked. I will say one of the shades looks like she wants to, I swear, I still have like a fuzzy. I've had it since the beginning of the live. <laughs> oh, geez. So that's the denim. I can swatch it for y'all. This shade right here came kind of lifted, but because it wasn't shattered, I wasn't trying to return it. I just kind of pushed it in there. It's not alive if anything don't come out with an arm full of swatches. Oh, Lordy Lord.
Which palette? Monique. Because I used the green and the blue. You want the blue? You want me to swatch the Chanel rose? <laughs> Is that the one you're talking about, Monique? Oh, thank you. Let me clean my swatches, my fingers, and then I'll... Here we go. More blue. Yeah, let us pray. <laughs> because... Okay. Yeah, because Tuesday night we did the Tom the, the Chanel blue one and then we also did the Chanel green. But oh I got I still had blue on my finger. Hold on. And then that's the gold shade. I don't even know if you can see that. There you go. Okay, I will oblige, Monique. I keep my Chanel's back here in a cedar box. They special, they get stored separately. <clears throat> Let's oblige and give Monique her her blue Chanel swatches. So this is the Road Movie Palette. Bye, Marlo. Get some rest, please. This, so if you keep shadows that have like aloe or just softer, any type of oils in them in a cedar box, it keeps it at the right humidity so that they last longer. So I've read. So this is shade one. Look at that. Y'all, if y'all were not here, road, road night movie, road movie. <laughs> That's the first shade. This is the second. Like these are just the swatches that keep on giving. <laughs> LBD, like, <laughs> honey, this is everything. Oh, wait, I didn't get my finger up in there. Which shade was that? That was this one. So it keeps the shadows at the right humidity. It um keeps the moisture out of them. <laughs> I gave you a hot flash. <laughs> and then, and they last longer. Which is also, and it makes sense because that is why the uh kelly this is the road movie from chanel that monique asked me to swatch again but it makes sense because like um cigar connoisseurs or whatever they are um they keep all their cigars in the humidors that are cedar so like it totally makes sense is that what you wanted monique Oh, yeah, she is really cute. <laughs> That's why I was surprised that everyone picked um, denim because we did blue the other night. And y'all know me and blues haven't been getting along lately, but it's okay. We win some, we lose some. But we're going to make this work. All the way work. Yes, this one is super pretty. It's perfect. Like a perfect brown. And then this one's more pale. But this teal color here, though, it's just... Oh, I wanted the Untamed. I know you did. I'm sorry. Dior palette one by one. Just one. So, I don't know. I don't know what am I gonna do. I'm I'm probably not gonna use that dark blue. Maybe not. I'm gonna go into this shade. Maybe we'll do a halo eye. Like this shade. The this in the middle. 
and then like blend the two shades together with one of these? Or should I do it with the two lighter shades? With the gold in the middle. I think we're going to start with the second shade. This shade here. And if we want to go darker, we can always go dark. But once you've gone dark, it's hard to come back. So that's what we're going to do. Might as well. Look, these hooded eye problems. It's okay, we'll fix that. I went too far in. There we go. Night Star Beauty. I was just saying earlier, where is she? Where is she? Because Denim won and she should be here. Because I knew the second I posted that, you would be the first one voting for the denim. <laughs> LBD. LBD, are you talking about this Dior one or are you talking about the Chanel one? Or both. <laughs> So let me get, uh, where's my refer? Honey, I can't see. Here she is. Oh, the untamed. That's a nice one. See, I feel like it's a little harder for me to get shadow on my brush with that shade just because I literally had to like push it in there. Y'all, I have made a mess with this blue. When I tell you me and blues do not get along, we gonna fix it though. That's what we gonna do, we gonna fix it. And what's crazy is it's my favorite shade. Like when I see it in a shadow, I'm like, oh, a blue palette, I gotta have it. Ooh, a blue palette. I'll F it up. <laughs> oh, I have, I don't have jungle. So I'm going to go in the middle with this gold shade. And then go in this crease. And then I want a fluffier brush for the lighter color. Maria, Maria. Maria, I've been waiting for this denim. I'm going to go into the lighter blue. Oh, that picked up a lot. I'm going back into the gold. I'm going to wet the gold. And I feel like there's blue all up in my gold in that one shade. My fix plus, where's she at? After the last live on Tuesday, I sat here and decluttered. I mean, it wasn't a lot because I declutter literally every time I sit down. But I did.
There we go. There we go. Yeah, I need to start putting my contacts on. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my my contacts on vacation. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get used to wearing them again. And stop being scared. Can you see it? A little halo. I might darken it just a tinge. A tinge. That was using this shade and the gold. And then this light blue on top. But I might go with this shade here. Just a tinge. There we go. You were right. I mean, the formula is just as great as the other quints. Like, I can't even lie there. Let me t These Dior quints, the formula is just like lotion. Like butter, baby. There we go. We getting there. I like it. Bye, Tanya. I'm still going to need an inner corner highlight, though, but we could do that. Um, you see, then I forget what brush I use for what. I use this one for the light. But we could do that when we do our highlighter. Because that highlighter, we're going to have to go light with her today because she is bling gee super blingy thank you maria because i was about to ask maria what do you think because <laughs> maria lordy lord so i'm gonna go with this darker shade just a little bit here like the outer third and then let me clean my brush up. So I've already pre-recorded my videos. You guys will have content while I'm on vacation. But the most important one is tomorrow. And that's the 500 subscriber giveaway. And there will be two winners. So... The colors with brown eyes. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I guess. I'm going to go into the light brown. I mean, hi, Nara. I think I'm still disappointed with my other blue look. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Multitasking? What am I doing? I'm just putting on shadow. Am I multitasking? Most people can't talk and put on shadow. I guess. But I don't know. Blues are the colors that I love the most. But intimidate me the most. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to, um, now that I put that blue down there, I'm just going to go in with the gold and kind of diffuse that out at the bottom a little bit. <laughs> Calls it my sexy eyes. Have you tried the sexy eyes with the lashes? Like the combo, Maria? Because I know last time your husband had jokes about the lashes. That looks pretty. I like it. We'll do something different on this side. I'm a little quick and simple and different. I'm going to go into... Ay, Papa Dio. We're going to go into the darkest blue. But I'm not going to go 
too cray cray, okay? No cray cray. Just because this is the darkest. <laughs> What fall ones? Those, I'm not going to lie. I saw Angela Van Rose's um, video and the swatches of the summer quince. <laughs> and Night Star Beauty, that's exactly what you need to do. And I... I was not impressed. Not impressed at all. Like they all look like topper shades, quite honestly, in my opinion. I'm allowed to have one of those. But I just, I don't know. I, they look like topper. I don't know. I, me no likey. It's not for me. Not for me at all. I do have I have the two pink ones like the Rouge Trafalgar the pink Corolle I have denim I have Mitza and new dress I want to say. Old and then the two holiday ones. And then Rouge Trafalgar Pink Parole. That's holiday. Honey, am I missing shadows? You never know. I got, I got three girls. It's possible. Yes, new dress. New dress. Did Ashley, did you pick up the, um, I always say this is going to be fast and easy and I end up, did you get the, the ones from the summer collection? The ones Angela just, Van Rose just posted about? I'm interested. I really like Rouge Trafalgar. I really, really do. But I really like pinks. So, did you already see the the swatches? Did you, or do you already have them in person, milady? Because the swatches looked like they were playing me. It's so, so for me. <laughs> Do you like them in person? Like, how would you compare them to the quince? Like, the denim, like that series that came out. I'm interested. What do you mean? Thank you, darling. Miss Liz, I do have fallout with this quint. I usually don't. Not a lot though. I'm trying to blend this together right here. Because, you know, I don't got no 20 year old lids.
Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. I blacked out when I bought them. You said Dior collection. Yeah, this didn't come out too shabby, I must add. Here's my halo eye. Here's the other one. So we can do the, I'm gonna clean her up out here. And then we're gonna do the lower lash and put on our mascara and stuff. Where's she at? Honey, I have brushes everywhere right now. I'm going back with my ride or die. Just so I could clean this up a bit. I like it. I like it. I like it. I need it. I want it. Yep. I, I sing all the time and I can't even sing. Y'all just need to tell me to shut up one day. And we're going to go with the light blue shade. <clears throat> Good night, Ashley. Honey, I am ready. Am I packed? No, I haven't. I've been putting outfits aside and hiding them in the closet because... <laughs> um. I didn't want the kids to know when we were going because if you guys have had have kids you know once they know are we leaving yet is it the day yet it's a da -da 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 and it's like ah! so we hadn't said anything but we did tell them today so now i could officially bust out with the luggages and start packing so yas Oh, good, a little. I'm ready. I got to do a whole carry-on. A whole carry-on just for my skincare and makeup. I'm just saying. I am going somewhere sunny. I'm going to the Florida Keys. I'm so excited. So here we are. Let's see. For liner, let's throw something in the waterline. For... Four giggles. I think this the the Gucci one will be too light, no? Do you think the Gucci one will be too light? And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury, the one that has a metallic and the matte. And then we have the Wayne Goss Blue Sapphire. And then I think the Chanel Intense Teal will be too, too teal. Like, this is more blue. I am going to be a bronze goddess. Y'all have no idea. <laughs> purple liner, purple liner, purple liner. So these are the liner options. Um, I don't know. Um, do you think, I think this might be too light. Use a gold liner. Ooh, that was loud. My bad. Gold. I have the Dior Pearly Gold. On which, on which uh, uh, I, Ashley, <laughs> I will oblige. Speak. Oh, these don't have a sharpener? Oh, Dior tried it. Okay, so we'll do this, the gold on the halo eye, and then pick a blue 
for the other eye. I'm thinking the Charlotte Tilbury or the wing gloss. I think this is too teal and that's too light. So one of these. Hold on, because I think I have a uh, Dior Tri. I just broke my pencil. Okay, my tip was dry, but then I broke it. But it doesn't have. Why doesn't this Dior pencil have a liner, a sharpener? I'm gonna have to take one off the Chanel liner. No, it just has a smudger. It's okay. We're going to do what we do with what we got. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is a nice gold. Where are we going? Uh oh, did a piece break off in my eye? No. Yes. Okay, sorry, I had to get that out. Can you see the, the liner there? And then, which blue do you want on the other eye? I have Wayne Goss's a dark blue, which honestly, you put it on and will stay there. The Charlotte Silverys, I can't really say the same. The metallic one is pretty nice. And then the metallic. I mean the map. So the Charlotte Silvery Matte and the Wayne Goss are the same shade. So it's either I think that's a good one. We'll use the metallic. The metallic blue. Yes. blue gold yeah I concur this was a good choice I'm trying to bring it down towards the there we go <clears throat> I like it I like it a lot okay that's it we have used denim There you go, Miss Night Star Beauty. Miss Maria. Where's my little Revron rope? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to throw my little Revron uh, curler out. And I'm going to get my my Surratt one and put her up here. But you know, I don't I don't really be needing a curler like that. So I just, boop. That's it. Boop. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. I appreciate it. So, next we're going to do mascara. Y'all picked the Dior Overcurl, and this one by like two, literally. Hold on, let me move this. Literally. 
Let me move my mirror a little closer. I really like the mascara, but what happened? Is it like this because I had it laying down? Oh no, I'm not using this. This ain't even old. But y'all, like y'all see this big old, look at, what is this situation? She ain't even old, but she got to go. She ain't coming near my eyeballs looking like that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Why'd she keep falling? Sorry. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> what happened though? Like, that's not that old. Literally, I bought that in December, January. Ooh. Okay, so the next runner up was the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. So that's what we're going to do. I like this mascara, but I'm not fond of the wand. So the wand is the one that has a little plastic. I really, really like like big brushes. Like the, the Too Faced Damn Girl. Oh, I love that one because the brush is really big. And I want to try the um, the new Bite one because I hear the brush. I mean, I've seen on videos that the brush is big. And I, I like big brushes. Look at that. Look at that difference. I like this mascara. I will say it was a mascara that when I first applied it. Oh, Christy, it's fine. Um, When I first applied it, I was like, I don't know. It's too like clumpy it was too wet and but i let it sit for about a week tried it again it was less less clumsy clumpy <laughs> by the time i got to two weeks of letting it sit was where where the consistency that i wanted it to be but before that i was like i don't know about this I'm pretty disappointed about that um that Dior mascara. Like I literally bought it around the holiday. But hey, it's fine. It's not like I don't have other mascaras or backups. I like it. Good night, Kelly. And then my lower lashes are so long. I never do my lower lashes until I've barely got anything left on the brush, like on the wand, just so I could kind of lightly scooch through there. And they don't, I don't apply too much. And I usually try to do a waterproof mascara on my lower lashes the best mascara for the lower lashes that will never transfer but it's easy to take off i have to go buy another one is the maybelline lash discovery mini brush waterproof it has to be the waterproof hey steven look how tiny that is like you could get in there from the bottom and or from the top she's perfect in every single way but there's the mascara. Who's looking badass? Oh, girl, me? Where are we going? I'm coming over. Okay, now y'all ain't gonna catch me with this Vive um blush. Like like I got caught in that Vive uh video. Um, that's gonna come be coming out. She pigmented very pigmented so let's see <laughs> let me find a brush <laughs> um yeah she took some work to lighten her up a little bit just a little bit okay we're gonna use this one right here so this is the vive um <laughs> I 
I'm not, I'm not going there with you today, uh, Willard. I'm not, I'm not, I'm on behave. This is a refer five. Look at that. Tap and look at that pigment. You guys are not getting me today. Oh, y'all, I'm all over the place. How about I look to the side? Where's my bronzer? My lock. Like, no bronzer? Wait, where are we going? Y'all voted on the Charlotte Tilbury. This one's in the shade tan. Yes, shade three, tan. This is going to be my whole entire color when I get back. And y'all know I usually do two bronzers, but I didn't want to make you guys vote too, too much. <laughs> We all need a little vitamin D. I concur. Behave, Willard. <laughs> okay. Yes. What? I look like I'm ready to go on vacation like now. Like yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah. What? Okay. Let's go back with this blush. Because I was like, oof, oof, I don't know. <laughs> when I tell you she's pigmented, she's pigmented. So we're going to lightly, like, look, look how lightly I'm tapping. And um, yeah, she, cause she coming. She coming all the way through. Nothing can stop me. But y'all wanted pink. Look how pigmented she is. Like, I'm not a big. <laughs> I am ready for the nightlife, girl. Ronnie, come pick me up. Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going? She's so cute, though. Look at the pink. Look at the pink. That's a pretty pink. Okay. I know I get excited. I get I get I'm always excited. Look at that though. Like I can't go in light enough for this freaking blush to just not look like I didn't dab my brush in there hard. Oh, Steven, I use the um, Dior Denim, honey. Blue did me right today. She did me right today. I got to diffuse this pink a little bit. Ain't nothing here, but. That is pink, okay? And that was the. If anybody is into blushes, like blushes are your die hard. These Aviv blushes are amazing. Highlighter, the Aviv highlighter is amazing. Well, I don't think it was so much. Um, what is that? Oh, that's a little no. I swear this little fuzz jumped from one eye to the other. Been following me. Um. Yeah, it is a beautiful. I don't think that it was the blue that scared me. That that pigment was just so hard to work with. It really was. But this blush, she cute. She cute, cute, cute. Yes. Let's do this highlighter. Now, you guys were on the live on Tuesday. You know this highlighter. She's intense. So we're just going to go with a little fluffy brush. For a more diffused out highlighter. Even though, look, even though she's still, she's still on there though. Okay, 
you can still see it. It's just insane. Look at that. You are Steven. I'm so excited. All the all the bougie makeup questions you have, you just Marco Polo me. I got you. I got you, boo. See, I think I'm getting more into like liking highlighters because my skin's no longer textured. But look at that. That's with like this little soft fan brush. Like this is crazy with my typical highlighter brush, which is like a domed, this will be insane. Like watch. Is it, is it catching it? Is it catching it? It's just crazy. And then I have like a little bit of texture here and it doesn't make it worse. It Or it doesn't emphasize it. I feel like you can't see that side. Oh, it's okay. So let's see if I amp up this side. See? That's a blingy highlight. She blingy. She's broken, so we got to treat her kindly and with respect. I like it. So the only thing you guys didn't pick was a lipstick. And I have, I think I have lots of lipsticks to choose from. Oh no, that's a... Uh, none of these work. I have peach blossom, but we did pink lip. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm trying to see what we can pull from the new drawer. Oh, the lip lacquer. I think this will be... Oh, I have... Okay. Y'all, look at all these swatches. So I have this shade from Chantikai. It's a lipstick. In Noris, I can't read it. It's too little. I ain't even gonna lie. Norissa, I think it said. And then I have this liquid lip in Tom Ford. Oh, look at that. I think Eileen has a type. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and then I have the Sisley. I have the Sisley stick, but this is like a light, light pink. Did they post you, Ruby? So I'm not sure which one you guys want. I'm thinking we could go bolder pink. Let's, you wanna do the liquid lip, the Tom Ford liquid lip? Or if you want to go really bold pink, the only really bold pink I have is pink. The first one. Okay, the Chantikai. And then, oops. Okay. And then we'll put all these. And then the liner that goes with that one is discreet. Where's she at? Right here. I hate when I forget to clean my lips right after I put on foundation.
Oh, the Tom, Tom Ford blushes are amazing. I have one that's like a lilac purple with pink in it. Oh my God. I never thought I would like a blush with purple in it. Like, it's just simply amazing. I don't know what I was doing talking and doing my lip liner, but we got her on. <laughs> we did it. And then this really got rubbed off, but I think it says N-A-R-C-I-S-S-A. -S -S and it's the Chantikai Lipstick Formula. It's really creamy. It's really comfortable. I really like it. I have videos going out, but I just won't have live, Steven. So I won't be back in town until the 11th. I leave tomorrow and I'll be back on the 11th. But tomorrow my 500 subscriber giveaway goes up. So, yeah, I do have content going out while I'm gone. So, it's okay. You have access to me, Steven, on Marco Polo. Feel free to Marco Polo. Now, if I'm in the middle of the ocean, I will not Marco Polo. But here's the final look, you guys. Here's look one, and here's look two. Thank you, Inara. I really like this whole denim situation like i'm not even gonna lie like now i'm thinking i want to take her on vacation but i really don't because that one shade thank you christy if you need me you know how to find me but um yeah the lip formula is amazing i'm surprised that the chantikai lipstick feels as good and as creamy as the lip cheeks but it's like lip cheeks with pigment so pretty mm. yeah i would take the, the palette but the fact that that one shade is loose i'd cry i'd cry if she broke but yeah i really like everything i tried today with the exception of like the brow gel like i'm just i'm gonna keep playing around with her maybe if I do, I'm not the brow gel, the brow pencil. Maybe if I do the brow pencil first and then the brow gel, I would like it. I'm going to play around with it. But I've only, that was only, um, yes, they're creamy like the, like the lip cheeks. Exactly the same. Um, but uh, the, what was I saying, girl? Oh, yeah. I'm the, I want to try the pencil and see if I can put that in first and then the gel and see if I like it. But so far, this is my second time using the pencil. And I'm not sure that I'm a fan of it. Oh, Molly, it's okay. Thank you. We did two. They were both with the denim. So this is a halo eye. And this was just what something I called quick and easy. And I mean, I did it quick, but <laughs> to me, when I say quick and easy, I mean one or two shades and let's roll. That's not what happened here tonight. <laughs> but we had fun. We did a lot of swatching. Like Steven says, it's not a lie with Aileen if we don't come out with an arm full of swatches. Well, that liquid lip definitely stains a little. It's okay. But this is denim and this is the Chanel Road movie because Monique wanted it. Oh, is this going to stain? Y'all, look at these liners. Which one was this was the Charlotte Tilbury one. Like why the struggle is real. Oh, Molly put her on. Take her out, honey. Take her out on a date, take her out on a ride. Happy birthday to your son, Molly. 
I can't imagine. Well, I mean, I can't imagine. I know what it feels like being in the mom of a 20 year old. My son will be 21 in May. And I'm like, oh, and the other one's what, 27, six, seven, around there. You know what I mean? <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I really had a lot of fun. You guys, I really like that you guys voted on things that I haven't used before. Some of them, I, I didn't give you an option. Like I've never, some of the categories I had never chose use it. I had never used any of those products on my channel before or even at all. Like denim has literally been sitting there in the box since she was released. Never used, just waiting. So I'm glad that you guys encouraged me. I hope you guys had fun and make sure to keep an eye out for the 500 subscriber video that goes out tomorrow and content while I'm out of town. If you have access to me on Instagram or on Marco Polo, I will respond when I can, but I'm not going to be completely shut off. Um, but I appreciate you guys. I really do. I, I do plan on having a lot of fun. Yeah, 20 doesn't seem possible, Molly, but I've had three hit 20 already and one turned 18 um, two days ago. No, yesterday. Sorry, yesterday. And um, yeah, so we will be leaving to Miami tomorrow, spend the night there, then head to the Keys. I really do love and appreciate you guys so much and everything that we have built here together. And I can't wait to continue to have some more fun. So until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye, you guys. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. I'll post stories on IG. Bye. Good night.